Hi everyone. Okay, so we're gonna do another 18 plus video reading today. Um, we're gonna look into what men or what people think you would be like in bed. Now, it's not gonna just be in regards to the act. Um, we're definitely gonna dive deep on this reading. We are going to pull things that, you know, you may not have even thought, you know, I could see, okay? So brace yourself, be open, uh, be prepared and ready for anything. We've got three beautiful images in front of you. You're going to go with the one that you feel the most gravitated towards. And yes, if you want to choose more than one, you can totally do so. Please feel free to pause the video. But if not, I'll give you 10 seconds. And that 10 seconds will start now. Okay, so if you were gravitated towards image one, let's get into your reading. I want to draw first. I do have, you know, this deck, the Sexual Magic Tarot deck out. But I want to get these cards first. I want to build a bit of a foundation here uh, before we get right into kind of what you would be like, you know, what people think you would be like in bed, okay, as far as, you know, the act goes, okay? So I'm going to pull um, three cards, three cards from this deck, and then maybe I'll do one, one, and then three from here. And this is around the whole seduction game of, you know, the art of making love, okay? Um, <clears throat> it's not going to be just confined or restricted to the bedroom. That's why this reading will provide, you know, clarity on many different angles. <clears throat> I apologize for my voice. Guys, I'm still recovering. I don't know what the heck I had. But wow, this is going on week three. So bear with me. We're going to channel everybody who's watching in group one. Let's bring forth the messages they need to hear at this time, not the messages they want to hear. And let's bring it forth in a very clear and direct way so that I, as the interpreter, can interpret it to them. What do people think group one would be like in bed? Or, you know, what would it be like? What would they feel like they would have to do to even maybe get you into bed? Okay, so with the nine of swords, I do feel like um, those that are, you know, thinking about this, um, they would think about it a lot, like how to approach, how to go about this. Um, I do feel like you give this impression like you're not the easiest to get in bed. Um, it's kind of interesting if you look at the image actually that you've chosen, you know, that can represent like the twins, two sides to a person. I do feel like it's, it's also represented by swords energy, this card, which is mental. And I do believe that those that are, you know, thinking about this. I feel like they would struggle a lot, you know, think that it would have to be, it would be very difficult to get you into bed. Actually, she's in a bed, so that's kind of funny, but I feel like they worry a lot. Um, you actually make people feel like very, very worried about like, you know, all sorts of things, you know, how to please you. Um, how would they go about, you know, it's like, you know, when somebody's really worried about their performance, something along those lines like i feel like you would just make somebody worry like mentally um as to kind of how to approach this with you you know i don't know if with the storage energy as well too that you can be a bit of hot and cold so you're triggering this type of you know energy in others um that they would have to worry but i feel like i don't know I feel like these people who are wondering this really worry a lot about their performance. Like, how would they do well with you, you know? How would they please you? How would they, you know, go about this? You trigger a lot of anxiety in others, you know? So they could think that, you know, you're a real badass, okay? And if they're going to come, they're going to have to come correct. And they're going to have to really think about their strategy, and um, how they're going to do this. But I feel like those that are wondering this are also having dreams about it. 
you know, because she has just woken up or this person, I can't tell with this card if it's a male or a female, but this person has just woken up and maybe has had a dream about this. So there's a lot of worry around this, but I feel like a lot of people daydream about being with you intimately, you know, before the actual, you know, activity takes place more. Wow. Another card kind of in the same direction with contemplation. Um, you seem like to pe you seem like to people that they are going to have to be some sort of stallion, like some sort of like top notch. I don't know. Uh, very, I don't know. Um, experienced person. Um, I think what, Okay, so the the title of this reading is What Men Think You'd Be Like in Bed. Hard to please. Hard to please. Um, maybe there these are obviously preconceived notions. Thinking that, you know, maybe you look like somebody who, I don't know, has had experience. Or you just are so wow. You've got that wow factor that they worry. <clears throat> I mean, this is a good thing in a way. Because, I mean, I feel like if people didn't care or worry, I mean, that could also talk about how they feel about you but people get very worried about their performance how they're going to offer you you know um maybe even step to you to even initiate this so this could even be like the dating before it you know just coming towards you i feel like there's a lot of fear a lot of intimidation and you know there's a lot of worry around you not being pleased i mean look he's not impressed this guy you know um, something is being offered and honestly, you know, we are talking about an 18 plus video. So this cup could be like literally them offering you their parts, you know, their body parts, um, to please you and you not being impressed. So there's a lot of worry. Um, and for some reason, people are looking at you and thinking that you would want, you know, a performance, um, you would want to be pleased, you know, uh, there's like some sort of like looking at you and being very worried about, you know, themselves and how they would be able to, um, satisfy you more. So I do feel like they're again with the 10 of wands, um, I don't know. There's a lot of fear around this. <sighs> wow. Like that you would just, you know, 10 of wands, maybe pick up and go. Um, how you would be like in bed, 10 of wands. Like, I just maybe feel like, you know, if you're not impressed, like you wouldn't finish the act, you know, you wouldn't even have like sympathy. You would just collect your things and leave. Um, so guys, um, you're giving the impression of some sort of like, and I don't mean like used and abused or, you know, overly used, but you're giving the impression that it's like to step to you, you'd have to come real correct. Maybe even have some tricks up your sleeve. Um, put on the performance of a lifetime. You know, these men or these people who are thinking about this are extremely worried there is so much worry before the act even starts that I feel like a lot of the times these people, if they've tried to perform with you, they can't even, they can't even finish, okay? Um, there's so much concern around this. It's insane, actually. Um, three cards of the same type of energy. So they're thinking you're some, I don't know, like gorgeous, stunning, used to maybe something, you know, I don't know, grandiose. And again, you know, you look like somebody who would need to be pleased, not maybe, you know, the one to do the pleasing. But there's this, this thing that you give off of being impressed. Like you're going to have to impress me in the bedroom. And I feel like it puts the weight of, you know, a, a huge weight on those that are considering, you know, being with you. Um, it puts a huge weight on their back. Give me more. What do men think uh, group one would be like in bed? 
deep being self-love and acceptance so i like that with the deep being because i did feel like that i felt like you know this group there's a lot of like there's a lot of thought put into this um you know people are thinking a lot about what you're like in bed like more so than maybe the average person but i just feel like here you would want something more okay um now this can be you know, I've mentioned, you know, tricks up the sleeve, but this could also be something more than the average experience. So I feel like there's a lot of high regard. I mean, she looks like she's ha she has a ton of self-love, a ton of self-acceptance. She actually looks really confident. And that's something that you could give off, okay? Um, just the way that you walk into a room, just the way that you hold yourself, your whole, you hold your own. And because of that, now I'm getting a little bit of an insight as to why they're feeling like this is because you're quite confident and you look actually like you're really good, like with, you know, the self exploration or the exploration of going deep. You look like somebody like that, like who maybe even has like knowledge in the bedroom or has a deeper meaning, you know, experiences a deeper meaning within the bedroom, um, is into that. So I could see how that would put the weight of, you know, a huge weight on others shoulders. Um, you look like if I'm looking at her, she looks like somebody that I would really have to come correct with. Um, and you do give off this like energy of like seduction, like very confident with who you are. I'm not getting like the shy introvert. I'm getting somebody who, if you are a woman, who is very, very comfortable with your sexuality. And that could be even the way that you look in pictures, the way that you stand, the way that you do your hair and makeup. You know, it can be seen and felt, okay? So they're now translating this into the bedroom and saying like, that person probably has experienced a thing or two, okay? Or is into that, like again, you know, being deep, being explorative, confidence, and probably wants that in me, you know? Would want that in a partner. So there's a lot of pressure. There's a lot of pressure with this group to perform. Um... And I really wouldn't be surprised if some of you have had experiences where, you know, men couldn't even, maybe there was issues with getting it, you know, up or hard because there was so much worry in the head. Like you're pretty, you're a pretty, you're pretty a big deal. You're, you're, you're quite the deal, big deal here. Okay. Group uh, one. Um, and it's just that confidence that is just, it's, it's translating into kind of deeper things like the bedroom. And you just look like somebody who is takes it to another level, you know. I really wouldn't be surprised here too if we've got some spiritual people because if you know this, I don't know if you do, but a lot of men will also, when they encounter these types of people, these spiritual people, even if it's just, you know, by watching you online, they will think that, again, that will translate into the bedroom and you will want something more than the average experience. I think they also think there's an aspect of you that's quite spiritual in the bedroom. Maybe you're into, you know, um, you would be into all kinds of things. Maybe mm, tantric, tantric sex, maybe even um, Hmm. The moon there is very interesting. I don't know. Something connected to spirituality, like being in the bedroom and using spirituality there as well, too. So I don't know if there's even tools that can be used, like crystals. I don't know. You're different. You're different to a lot of men. And if it's just that you're very confident and it has nothing to do with being spiritual, like it still applies. And I feel like I'm as the reader feeling the energy of these men and this is a lot of pressure. So I really wouldn't be surprised if, you know, men are very nervous around you 
or if there's even been some issues in the bedroom of them, you know, keeping it together, like you're someone to wow. I feel like I would have to wow you. Like again, I'd have to have a lot of tip, tips and tricks up my up my sleeve because, you know, they think with the 10 of wands that if you're just, you know, you're not the type that's going to fake it. They don't feel that, you know, they don't feel like you're going to settle. Like you are also here for the experience of being pleased yourself. And I just feel like there's no thinking that you're just going to, you know, allow somebody to get what they need and you're unsatisfied or, you know, if you're easily, if you're not impressed, you would just, you know, maybe like walk away mid, 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 midway. Okay. Ten of wands. I just feel like getting up and going and just like not, not really feeling this. And not really concerned about fin finishing it. Like maybe even with the connection, they also feel like you in bed, like there would have to be a connection. So something with the deep being as well, like it, it can't really be too much with the aggression um, or aggressive type SEX. It would have to be something deeper, you know, even looking into the eyes, maybe even saying words like emotional, you know. And if you resonate also with, you know, somebody who doesn't give it up easily, I mean, this can also be, you know, them thinking this as well. There is a reason you have those dreams, the mystic, intuition, high priestess, and visionary. So kind of interesting, we have that card following this nine of swords because, you know, there is something about dream state, okay? Waking up from a dream, feeling like it's a nightmare. Um... They view you as the mystic, someone like high priestess energy. And it does say high priestess here. And if you guys know the high priestess, she's a deep being. Okay? She's a deep being. She's not, um, you know, for the mundane. She doesn't want to have a bland experience. She wants to have an intense experience. She wants to connect. And I feel like that's what these men think like you're going to be like in bed. Like you just want, like again, the performance of a lifetime. You would not be okay with, you know, mediocreness or, you know, bland SEX. Like it ha would have to be impactful. Um, and there would have to be a connection. There would have to be a deep connection. Um, there's not going to be any other way to this. So a lot of nerves. A nervousness surrounding you. Um, I mean, it's a good thing. It's a good thing because it definitely weeds out, you know, the ones that you don't want, you know, because I just feel like with this group, you're not into the casual us yet. You want an experience. You even maybe want to use this to, you know, heighten because there is a thing called sex magic, but you want a connection. You want to connect. You want this to be, you know, worth it. You want it to mean something. And um, these people are picking up on this. They really are. So that's good if that's what something that you resonate with. Give me more. How do people or men feel like group one would be like in bed? Yeah, easily distracted. So like, I'm telling you guys, like there's, you know, like you look like someone, again, that is just not easily impressed. You know, like again, would have to go to the nines to impress. Like, I'm just shocked this card's coming out. It's just card after card after card of the same type of message. Um, you look like somebody, I mean, she doesn't look like, do you see the way she looks on this card? She's like, impress me because if not, like something else will catch my eye. Like I just, I am not going to be easily impressed. You know, like, what are you doing? What are you doing? How are you coming? Correct. You know, um, there's a lot around this. And it can be, you know, especially if with men, because men are the givers, that's going to be a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure. So I think they definitely know you want a connection, but you also want to be impressed. 
this cat got nine lives. So I like this card. I feel like they also think that you are um, very enchanting and very enchanting, very like worldly. When it comes to the bedroom, you may know a lot of things. They just have these fantasies like, of what do you know? What do you know? You know, um, you give off that vibe again, high priestess energy. Like, what do you know? Like, I feel like being with that person. It's going to be like a life changing experience, you know? Like, what have you ac accumulated in knowledge, you know? She probably has books of, like, you know, different ways, you know, we can do things, different positions. Um, she probably knows all these different, you know, like, things that... And I just feel like men do want to be with you. They really do. They feel like it would be an out-of-the-world experience, and I think that's what's a part that's a part of your allure as well, too. There's a there's just like this je ne sais quoi surrounding your energy. And it's like to be with you. Oh my goodness, what would that be like? You know? What would that be like? But I feel like with the this cat got nine lives, it's like, I don't know. This, look at the way she's looking. The she, it's a cat. <laughs> but doesn't this cat also give you high priestess energy? mysterious like you just look mysterious like i don't know a full of surprises you know like what like it's like a sanctuary they're giving them word sanctuary like your bedroom would be like a sanctuary independent okay so she is walking away she has her bags packed i do feel like again this is giving me that same card of the ten of wands okay walking away um leaving independently um but i'm gonna say something else there could be some thoughts that you know even though you want this deep connection even though you are you know immersed you would be they think you would be immersed in the act there's also this like fear of you just picking up and, and go and going, you know, um, leaving. Um, you're very confident, pal one. And I just feel like with this independent card, maybe you just may take off. That could really kill them. It could really hurt them inside. Um, you know, your back is turned. It's like once the act is over, you may just disappear. You may not be, you know, totally into the cuddling or you know, the aftermath of, you know, being together. Um, and I just feel like, you know, again, with the, that image, you know, it's like, I don't know, there's like these multiple sides of you that I feel like people tap into. And there's a lot of worry about maybe even getting you, you know, getting you to stay, getting you to maybe even come back and do it again. A um, lot of pressure. These men feel like they would have to do a ton of work to keep you around. But I also feel like with the independent card, they could also think that <clears throat> you may be into, you know, you know, like we've got the visionary, right? So I don't know if this is maybe they've had dreams or fantasies of you doing things to yourself while they watch. There's voyeurism a bit here, I feel like. I'm getting... Um, for some of you, there could be voyeurism, but I, de I definitely feel more, more geared towards like, what if you left, you know, what if I experienced this, this amazing experience with this person and then they just took off on me and I wouldn't be able to have it again. So there's a lot of fear of actually doing the act with you because I feel like there's a fear of getting attached and you know, what would be the chances that I could get it again? Like, I feel like I would always be running after this person. Um, there is a fear around you having them like on lockdown or in a particular way, cause they feel like it would be so good with you. They know it would be good with you, but it's like, they don't want to be addicted. So there could be even some fear of even doing this with you. Okay. Cause you would just choose to walk away. Or, you know, you give up this impression that you don't need anybody, you know. Or, you know, again, it may be so hard to even get you, you know, into the bedroom. Um, what if you didn't like it and you took off? Okay, so let's draw three cards from this deck. 
What would it be like? What do men think it would be like to be with you in bed? You know, listen, if this is not resonating, just remember, this is what they're, this is the preconceived notions. You know, a lot of people can formulate things inside their head. It's crazy. Like you have to know people, you know, you have to get to know people. Um, but some people could be misreading you if this makes no sense. What do people or men feel like you would be like in bed? Oh my God, guys. Like, are you kidding me? High priestess. So not a coincidence, guys. Um, she has a book open. She is, you know, learning. Um, she's very seductive, though. Look at her. Look at the way she's looking at you. And she has her top open. She is gorgeous. Um, she has a pair of scissors in her hands, which is interesting. She's got uh, a cat by her feet. Very mysterious woman or man, guys, you are. You're giving that je ne sais quoi, like, like that type of person where it's like, what goes on in the bedroom? Like, what goes on? with this person in the bedroom. Like, what do they have going on? Like, I want to experience that. Like, I'm, I want to indulge. I feel like from these people watching you, it's like, you could lure me in, but I feel like there's also this bit of danger and, you know, like uh, nervousness to kind of, you know, be able to, I mean, look at her, she is gorgeous, okay? And I don't care if you're a man or a woman watching, you're really, really stunning. You've got an exotic and erotic vibe and energy around you. But it just, I just feel like I'm, I'm overwhelmed. I am overwhelmed. And it's like maybe even the fact that she has the scissors in her hand, that can also point to maybe thinking, you know, about what you would be like in bed. Like, what do you do? You know, because I just feel like if I'm watching you and I'm thinking about you, I'm not thinking it's mundane. I'm not thinking it's just like some average romp in the sack. I'm thinking there's things going on, you know? things going on, <laughs> like different types of things. Um, and it's like, it's very mysterious. Ace of Pentacles. So I do feel like, you know, um, the act itself, you make um, people feel very, 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 um, you know, the Ace of Pentacles is giving me like even, you know, the body part of men. It's like arousal. It's like never ending arousal. Like I feel like they think that, I mean, she's worn out on the bed. I feel like you, they think you'd be able to go all night rounds, all night long. I mean, there is a ritual happening in the background as well too. If you can see it here with candles, they're not just lit, they're tied together, okay? So I do feel like, you know, there could be something of, you know, like a witchy woman, a witchy woman, like into different types of things. But I do feel like you give them the idea that, you know, they could go all night with you. I would go all night, but I feel like with you, you could also keep up and go all night. I do feel like um, there's something in regards to longevity like not just, again, a quick thing, like this could be all night, like you would get, you give the impression of stamina. The lovers, yeah, you're very tempting. You're very tempting. You're like the one with the blue hair, okay? Um, okay, I'm gonna say this for some of you, but some, men feel like you may be down for like a threesome you may be down for it because of the way that you look maybe you have like this vixen look but they also feel like you know she's very dressed up as opposed to the other woman okay and uh he is looking at her you know but he's actually looking at us and saying like what do i do you know um i do think that you are very much the one with the blue hair and, you know, she's dressed up. They could think that you in bed probably really like to do it up. Put lingerie on. You would spice it up. You would be spicy. You may even wear wigs. You may even do role playing. Um, 
Maybe you're into like that very erotic type of costume, maybe even role playing different costumes like maid, nurse. They think that, but I just feel like with the lovers, you are a temptation. You are definitely a temptation. And I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really be surprised if the, a lot of the men that are coming through here are ones that, you know, already have someone, but it's like they can't keep their eyes off of you. Like, you are very seductive. So it's a bit thrilling for me with this group. Very thrilling. I should not have said a bit thrilling. Very thrilling. Um, I feel like to wrap up this reading, you would be an experience, okay? But I feel like there's a lot of worry about performance because you would want that. You would want someone to, like, you're very into self. Okay, so you're not really, you know, like you don't mind pleasing, but you need to receive. They feel that. And I feel like it would be fun, but I feel like there's a lot of worry about getting addicted to you. Like you in bed would be addicting. It would be addicting. Um, but also too, you would need high performance. Okay. Um, and that, you know, you're probably a little bit more experienced or you like an experienced person. And that you're not easily impressed with the easily distracted card. And also with the cat got nine lives, that you are worldly, you know, adventurous. Um, you would be willing to take it up a notch, you know, bring in tools, bring in, you know, uh, candles, rituals, all types of things. And that you would also have the stamina to go all night. This is what people think about you, what you would be like in bed. And remember, this is just a thought. So it may not resonate with you, but this is what they're getting. So this was your reading. Let me know what you thought. I wish you all the best. Take care. Okay, so if you were attracted towards image two, <laughs> I did feel like when I was adding this, uh, you know, image to the thumbnail, I said, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this groom. I just feel it, you know? And I do want you guys to know that when I am creating the thumbnails, there's a lot of energy that goes into them. And I don't mean like making them. It's just like I only pick and choose what my intuitive higher self tells me to pick, to add, because I just know that the person choosing it, there's going to be a, like a very deep connection as to why they choose that particular one. And um, there is something more than just, you know, the images. It's more than that. So I just want to tell you that, you know, that, you know, when I was adding yours, this group that you were, you know, attracted to, I did feel like, I don't know, I was going to have fun. So let's get into the reading. Let's find out what people or men would think that you would be like in bed. Take the reading with a grain of salt. Remember, these are preconceived notions that people would think. It may not even be what you're like, okay? But let's, let's get into it. So let's channel everybody who's watching in group two. Let's bring forth the messages they need to hear at this time, not the messages they want to hear. And let's bring it forth in a very clear and direct way so that I, as the interpreter, can interpret it to them. So what do people think group two would be like? What do they think this group would be like in bed? We're only choosing three cards, spirit, so... Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I knew it. I knew I was going to have fun. And look what we've got on the bottom. Okay, so let's go very slowly. Knight of Wands. I feel like people get the vibe. And this, they're showing me, even just in your demeanor, the way you talk. I don't know if you use your hands a lot. I don't know if you are quite animated. But it could just even be your look. You know, you are like a wildcat, a wildcat with the Knight of Wands, adventurous, down. You look like somebody who would be down for anything, like, you know, the bushes. Within reason, I'm not saying that you want to be, you know, uh, dirty, okay? But, you know, woods, outdoorsy, um, to like maybe even, you know, a secret spot somewhere. Like, you know, you know, when you're younger, sometimes people do tend to kind of, you know, they'll sneak into places to do these things, you know, movie theaters, washrooms, who the hell knows, okay? But I just feel like you are adventurous. You're open. 
You're extremely open sexually. I actually feel like if I'm looking at you, I'm feeling an openness with sexuality that you would even probably, you know, enjoy it. You like, you like, you like someone who likes to have it. Um, you don't, you are not coming across with these cards at all, like a prude or someone who looks like they're inexperienced. Now, just remember, you may actually resonate with those things that you're inexperienced and shy, but that's not what you're giving out. Okay. But I just feel like with the Knight of Wands, I feel like people who are viewing you, if they think it's going to be fun, like quite the experience, quite the romp, you know, and um, you would bring the fire. I do feel like with the Knight of Wands, you know, you look very, you know, uh, youthful. You could look very youthful. You could look very spicy, exotic. You know, I feel like... Um, just the picture of you laying in the bed, you know, waiting, or even if you're dressing up, it's just, oh my God, fuego. It's fuego in here, okay? You've got the high priestess. So I'm telling you, you're giving off real high sexual vibes. And listen, that's a great thing. You know, that's a great thing. It's alluring, you know, it's seductive. It's, um, it's hot. You know, why would you not want to give that, you know? I mean... I just feel like, you know, within reason, it's, it's pretty, um, exciting. You just, you invoke that. You just, I feel like in bed, men would feel like you would just be, um, an experience in itself. Now for some of you, okay. Some of you, and just bear with me with the three of pentacles for some of you, you could look like the type that could be extremely adventurous, maybe even like threesomes but I also do I do also feel like with this card it can be a card of teamwork so you definitely look like somebody who would be a giver as well as a receiver somebody who would be definitely um adamant about you know the act itself and wanting to make sure everyone is pleased and everyone is taken care of um I do also feel like with the Page of Swords, how interesting is this? You look like actually someone who may even be submissive to teaching or who would be willing to learn, okay? Because the Page of Swords is the apprentice. Um, but this guy on this card, this little guy, um, Page, he's a page. He's an avid learner, okay? So you look like someone who would be experimental, but would also be willing to like learn your partner. Um, you know, this is a thing, right? Like when you get with somebody, you do have to learn like what they like. That's if you even care, right? And I feel like you are giving the impression that you do care. Um, but you just look like somebody who, okay, I know we're supposed to be talking about what they think you'd be like in bed, but I'm also getting a lot from the person who's viewing you and they would want to teach you a lot um they also may even have some fantasies of like you know like the student teacher thing dressing up as a schoolgirl. um there could be some fantasies about that so that could even resonate if there are people there you know who are watching who tend to wear uh, glasses okay or have that kind of look um maybe there's also you know we're we're looking at you now your physicalities and we're having some fantasies here okay but um overall i feel like the energy is pretty decent here so i'm not getting you know i can't remember what i said in group one i did that 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 group actually yesterday um but i just i don't feel like it was like this with this one it's pretty you're pretty you're pretty well received when it comes to how people view you sexually, you look just like fun. You look alluring. You look like it's going to be quite the adventure. You're able to even actually probe. High Priestess, she's deep. So, you know, there could be even this body language that you do with your eyes. I don't know, just your essence, your energy. You have the capability to even maybe create the mood. Um, so I just feel like very well received here with these cards. I'm not really actually seeing anything bad. Um, and that can happen, but you know, we have to obviously draw more cards, but I just, I feel like it's very positive so far. So let's get three cards from this deck now. Let's see what else they think you would be like in bed. I'm going to 
say this as well too with this card, the three of pentacles. I'm just wondering if there's some coworkers that are coming through or even picking up on those who are viewing you this way. But I feel like also with the three of pentacles, very hardworking. Like you look like somebody who would satisfy your partner. You look like that. You don't look like a taker. You look like, again, everyone, you know, is, is pleased, you know? Everyone is pleased. Everyone is taken care of. And team effort. So you actually look like somebody who would be willing to give it up as well. Like if this person is with you. So not necessarily the type that is going to be like, you know, some people in their marriages or their relationships, the girl or the guy doesn't give it up ever. You look like somebody who would, okay? And when I, I want to clarify what I mean by that. I'm not saying if you met a stranger, you would give it up. You look like what I mean is somebody who would have a healthy uh, sexual, um, healthy sexual relationship, I guess, with your person. And uh, you would never keep it from them. I, I This is amazing. I don't know how people are getting this from you, but that's what they're seeing. Give me more. How do others or men view um, group two when it comes to how they would be in bed? What do they assume they would be like in bed? Rolling in their grave. Um, let's just get all of them out. I was going to pull three. Trust your intuition. Look at these cards. Ah, rolling in their grave. Um, I feel like this is pointing to something freaky. Something really freaky. Something that maybe uh, those that are viewing you have never experienced. Give me more on this card. Give me more on the trust your intuition. These are interesting cards, that's for sure. And give me more on the intense shadow work. Okay, so with this card, I do feel like, um, you know, two of wands can be like a risky, a risky, taking a risky chance. It can talk about that. With the rolling in their grave. I think we're getting the those that are viewing you, um, you know, you know, especially like if they're, okay, they're showing me somebody who might be married or taken, or even if you're taking taken, or there's a testing of the boundaries. I feel like you're so alluring sexually that people would be te would be willing to take risks to be with you, and not really worried about the outcome. I feel like that rolling in their grave is really pointing to some sort of like consequence or some decision, like. You know, we use that phrase based upon someone's behavior. We've used that before, you know, in society. But I just feel like with the two of wands, you're a bit of a risk. And I'm going to say this as well, too. Like, I'm even getting maybe um, same sex here. I don't know. I think you could even, for some of you, the same sex could be very attracted to you and they'd be willing to cross lines. I feel like you do that to people. You know, those that are, you know, we're, we're trying to channel here, um, they would be willing to, even it's sitting under the Knight of Wands, even them, they take chances, you know, they would take chances with you, they would go boldly, you know, where no person has gone before or would go, you know, and it's interesting with the trust your intuition too, because I just feel like, you know, there's a lot of intuition coming through for you. You know, about you in regards to, you know, we're asking how others would view you and how they think you'd be like in bed. You know, with the six of cups, this is these are those people that are encountering you like during the meeting and they're getting an intuition about this. It's like they can see right through you. I feel like, though, with the six of cups, though, they think you'd be very sweet, though very romantic, very loving, very cuddly, very touchy. Um, guys, like, wow, this is, uh, 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 I think I'm going to say this, okay? 
Um, I think a lot of people want to have sex with you. Yeah, I'm going to say it because I've drawn enough cards now that it's just, it's overpouring for me. It's overpouring. And I feel like a lot of people are sexually attracted to you. And I mean like all sorts of people, older people, maybe younger people, maybe if you're 40, like 20 year olds, like I just think it's like even same sex, you know? Um, people who would even need, wouldn't even like consider themselves bi want to, you know? Um, I feel like with the six of cups too, it's like, it hits them, you know, during the meeting, you know, this six of cups can talk about nostalgia, you know, um, nostalgia is like a memory, but it's paired and it's clarified on top of the trust your intuition. So these people are trusting their intuition when it comes to you and they feel it very strongly. They feel the sexual attraction. They feel your sexual appetite very strongly with the intense shadow work and the ace of swords. How interesting is that? So I just feel like a lot of them also feel like if they were to be with you, it would actually provide a lot of mental clarity. But with the intense shadow work, I feel like they assume that, you know, being with you would be like a healing experience. I knew it when I drew, I knew it when I added this image. I was like, this one's going to be interesting, like really interesting. I could just feel it. And I trust myself enough to believe myself, but like, I just feel like I'm set straight. I'm satisfied with the Ace of Swords. Like they assume that you would know how to satisfy them, but also heal them. And I really wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you have been told that in bed, that you are healing, you know, like your energy, your contribution, you know, within, I'm trying to be as, you know, <laughs> I'm trying to be as classy as possible with this reading. <laughs> Your contribution, you know, in the matter is just was, you know, very, 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 very much um, like healing um, to be next to you. I actually feel like even with the Ace of Swords, this is like, okay, I'm just going to say it as well, too, because they're not giving me a better word for it. Um, but I just feel like they also assume that you would know how to keep them hard. Okay, I'm getting like boner alert with this with this card boner alert like there's something about and then these are coming from men obviously but they're feeling like you would know how to keep them hard wow okay um let's go with these cards let's get one from this deck what do men or people think group two would be like in bed I feel like also with this card, because it's nostalgic, it's a nostalgia, nostalgia, nostalgia card. Um, I feel like it would be an unforgettable experience too, because this is a card of memories, you know? Midnight Moth, Distraction. So with this card, I do feel like here, you know, you could be a distraction for a lot of people's pain, okay? I like that, you know, I mean, it's a moth, but it looks like a butterfly as well. Let's just be real, okay? I feel like there's something that, you know, you know, it's like transformative. Like you would be able to transform. It would be like an experience like no other. But I also do feel like... um being with you they assume would be like the perfect distraction and again with that intense shadow work like healing like very healing but this moth is also attracted to this flame so i feel like this also represents like the attraction from the moth to the flame is that how it goes how's the saying go like a moth to a flame. It's like very, very attracted. This is what you do to people. And I'm going to say this with this group, a lot of people, you know, when we're talking about how they view you and stuff, there's a lot being put like an, a lot of emphasis put being put on sexuality. Okay. Sexual feelings. There's a lot with this group. Um, you are very attracted, attractive. But there's an underlying energy as well, too, a sexualness, a, a prowlness, a prowlness, um, 
I don't know what this is. Like, it's just, you know, again, like a wildcat, you know? Maybe more. How do men or how do people feel? How do they assume group two would be like in bed? It's okay to forget and then remember all over again, all over again, all over again. The Voyager, return home, lessons and realizations. <coughs> I don't know. I just think this is pointing again to the experience itself. And like what it would do for them, you know, the return home, it's like to be in your embrace, you know, it would be like returning home. You are a lot of, um, if you're a woman, you're a lot of woman. And you're, if you're a male, you're a lot of male, man, you're a lot of man. Like you're, um, you're profound, you know? And I just feel like it's like the person feels like they would go from shut eye to eyes wide open you know, after you. And there is a lot focus, you know, deeply with the trust, your intuition, the shadow work. And even now with this returning home, you know, even with the six of cups, it's like, you know, you would be able to give them the real deal experience, you know, like not everybody can do that, you know, but I feel like they feel enough of a connection with you. People feel that connection to you. Like it would be coming home. It would feel like they're coming home. And this could even be from past lovers with the Six of Cups, those that feel this way about you. But this could also be coming from those that encounter you and feel like they've been past lovers. <clears throat> like, I don't know with this, it's okay to forget and then remember. I feel like they feel like you would be able to show them the way. So I'm getting even, even maybe some people who are feeling inexperienced who are encountering you feeling like you would be able to teach them something. So maybe they actually want to be the student with the Page of Swords. Maybe it's not that you're the student. Maybe they feel like they're going to be able to learn something from you. You know, you give that vibe. Three cards from this deck. How do men or how do people in general view uh, group two? What do they think they'd be like in bed? Eight of Swords. Oh, wow. Okay, so I feel like there is some that feel like they would be um, like victimized in a sense. By being with you, they would be weak. They would feel weak. They would feel like they were a victim. Um, they would feel like, I don't know. It's like with the Eight of Swords, just, it's funny that the card is talks about being sabotaged or self-sabotage, but they feel like they would, they would willingly like sabotage again, many, many things to be with you. Um, you know, on this card, they're technically hiding, right? So this is more of that, see that hiding from that other man who's walking down the corridor, that taking risks. You know, taking risks. But with the Eight of Swords, I feel like you kind of are in the power play, you know? They would want to be your victim, you know? Um, your student, you know, learn from you. Um, and they think you'd happily teach them. So there could be some of you who kind of give off this maybe um, dominating type type luck like wow she could probably whip me into shape in the bedroom something along those lines more judgment yeah so these two are like like tied together um i do feel like they feel like it would be like an awakening okay so the judgment is it's an awakening type of card um i do feel like it would be an experience there's more pointing to that um, but you know, they're like tied up together again. So I just feel like, again, wanting to be your victim or you would know a thing or two. Um, they'd want to be your subject, you know, 
um, they'd want to sabotage themselves, honestly, to be with you. Because even the judgment is interesting. Uh, it's a card of reckoning. It's a card of like awakening. It's like, you know, with the judgment as well to being judged. So I'm wondering here if that goes back to the taking risks, you know, to want to be with you. We could be having a lot of married men here in this pile. Or again, you know, it could be a bit of a taboo relationship, maybe same sex or even bi. I don't know. But they would be willing to walk into the darkness, not even knowing what the consequence will be or what will, um, you know, happen, transpire, just to kind of see what could happen here with you more. Six of Pentacles. So the Six of Pentacles is very much a card of giving and receiving. So again, I do feel like um, they do feel like you would be sat into the satisfying type. You just have a look like that. I can't, I, I don't know why that is. Um, but you do have that type of look like someone who would definitely give maybe more than receive, but also, you know, it could be honestly going back both ways towards each other. Um, <clears throat> I just want to look at this card. There's a lot of like, um, there's a strap or some sort of rope around this uh, apple. There's also like that also here too. I don't know. I feel like there's that, that this like dominatrix type thing, but this could also be like that rope could be like temptation, um, maybe a difficult situation. Um, a lot of people would, would be willing to learn some hard lessons to just be with you. Um, but with a six of pentacles, that's a giving and receiving card, you know, um, it could even be maybe even, you know, if you look at the six of pentacle cards, it's a man who has gained enough knowledge and success to now give to others. So again, it could be that student. I feel like I'm getting reciprocal energy here. The thoughts on the men, men's end, but also what you would be like in bed. So I just feel like, again, happy to be your subject. I would sign up in a heartbeat to be your subject. You could do whatever you want to me. I would allow it. I would be happily, I would happily allow that. Um, you could do whatever you want to me, whatever. I'm not afraid of the consequences. Um, you're a bit of like, um, I feel like people who encounter you, it's a bit difficult for them because they feel it intuitively like that you, I think you have very high vibes sexually, but they would, they don't know what to do. It's like, you know, the body is saying go, but the mind is like, you shouldn't. So I really wouldn't be surprised with this group. If in your life, there's been a lot of people who would be, who were willing to cross lines that should not have been crossed with you. Um, because they felt it strongly. Um, I'm just getting this willingness to be your subject. Um, and it's like a dream. It would be a dream to be with you. A dream, literally. Like attracted to a moth, like a moth to a flame. You are the flame. Oh, goodness. But the distraction, you could be even a distraction as well, too. Like, I just feel like as well, too, it would be hard, like when men think about you. Like, I would want to be in the bedroom with this person all the time. How would I even be able to focus? I would be so distracted because the flame is just that intense. Your flame, your sexual flame, you as a person. Um, this is intense. And I'm not surprised that the high priestess is here, okay? Yeah. You have the ability to build with that seven of pentacles. Build tension, sexual tension, whether you're aware of it or not. I really wouldn't be surprised if we have some Scorpios here, water signs, but it could be fire signs. Honestly, it could be anybody. I'm just saying like, you know, you feel her with the high priestess, you know, it's high priestess regardless. Okay. If she's even just not there for that, she's going to emit that type of energy. She's seductive. Okay. This is also just on a side note, not that I'm saying you're one. This is why she also represents the mistress she's extremely hard to resist 
even to people who are taken, okay? So this is where I'm going to end the reading. Let me know what you thought. I wish you all the best. Take care. Okay, so if you are attracted towards image three, let's start your reading, how this is going to work, and I'm going to draw a couple cards from this deck, and then I'm going to move into the oracle cards. This reading is going to be predominantly about what others or what men would think or assume you'd be like in bed, but I've been getting many messages uh, throughout this reading, um, even into kind of how they feel uh, or how you make them feel, okay, sexually. So just be open, but let's dive into it. <clears throat> so let's channel everyone who's watching in group three. Let's bring forth the messages they need to hear, not the messages they want to hear. And let's bring it forth in a very clear and direct way so that I, as the interpreter, can interpret it to them. What do others or men, what do they assume group three would be like in bed? Hmm. Interesting. Ooh, I love when there's such a very different contrast between all of the different piles. I really appreciate that because, you know, sometimes with these topics, you can get honestly, you know, very much similar messages. But these three piles have been extremely different. <coughs> Excuse me. So, wow. Listen. I feel like when I hit, when that hangman card really hit the counter or the desk, I felt really strongly and I heard it as well that, you know, there's a little bit of curiosity, but it's up in the air. You know, when people are viewing you, when men are viewing you, are they interacting with you? Are they seeing you? There's a little bit of like, I'm not sure actually what this person would be like. It could be a bit mysterious, you know? You could have a very controlled sexual vibe as opposed to two, it was very out there. I feel like with this group, I'm not sure with you, but that's also very sexy in its own way because I do feel like it could go so many different ways. You could look like actually, um, and I am getting that, you know, you have this kind of face. You may even have this type of hair, like a bedroom hair. Or like this type of face that is kind of like really hot. It's sexy. It's almost like they're telling me that some men want to, oh goodness, where are we going with this? Um, may even want to be a little bit aggressive, you know, like, because you may have a bit of an attitude. So it's like there in the bedroom is where they'd want to take it out, you know, get you back in a way, but obviously through pleasure, right? But I just felt that with the hangman. I'm not entirely sure. And, you know, with that two of pentacles, it's kind of closed off. It's kind of like there's a wall. I'm not entirely sure. I have to get to know you. And I do feel like men assume like, you know, they'd have to get to know you or you'd have to get to know them and that it would take a while for you to open up. You know, I do feel like, they would want to. I, it's not like I'm sensing that they don't want to be near you or they don't want to engage with you, you know, romantically. I do feel like, you know, they would they would love to. They still, even though I'm picking up on these things, do see like having a beautiful experience. They would want to. But I don't know. There's something of um, like being held off a bit, you know, like something just, I don't know, it just is not sitting right with me. And again, I don't know if it's that you've just got this, you know, energetic, you're energetically closed off or you're distant. You tend to be like a distant type person, not really too ch chatty. Maybe even your face, you tend to be a little bit sometimes, you know, you're, you fluctuate in moods. Um, but I do feel like with the fool, um, they would happily go into the fire. So I feel like there is a little bit of feeling scared, intimidated by what to expect. But 
with these two cards, they will happily like, you know, go into that fire, not knowing what to expect. Um, I do feel like there could even be some energy around the seven of swords, like not fully trusting you, not really fully knowing what you're up to. You look like actually somebody to them that may have like a kink. Okay, or something like a je ne sais quoi, I can't put my finger on. And look who we have on the bottom, the Queen of Cups. Yeah, she'll definitely do that to people. Okay, I mean, we don't have to get astrological. You can embody her energy regardless if you're a water sign or not. But I feel like the water signs do this anyways. They've always got this energy about them. It's like daunting, you know, it's a quiet like overtaking type energy like it's actually the reason why i can't like i I don't like scorpio men whatsoever they scare honestly the s-h-i-t out of me okay um i mean i like seduction and all that but they take it to a whole other level you know but i just feel like with the seven of swords i don't know there's a bit of like not trusting you know maybe either what they feel about you or even you I don't know. You have a bit of a dangerous vibe to you. Like what, what would she do to me behind the scenes? You know, <laughs> would she tie me up? Would she attack me? I don't know. You know, like, I don't know. But I do feel like you're not, you're not really like that open, you know, to even be able to, you know, get a good vibe, you know, but it's alluring it, it, in its own way. That's also very sexy. Very because I just feel like, you know, it's a challenge. It's a challenge, right? Um, I do assume, okay, I assume, I'm speaking as though I'm the men. That will happen when I'm reading because I pick up on their energy because that's what the topic is, right? I do feel like there's a little bit of like a, a love them and leave them type thing. Like, will you just love me and leave me? Like, you've definitely got a leg up on these people who are, you know, making these assumptions. Um, they're a bit, they're a bit fearful of like being, um, like dropped off, you know, just, okay, well, you know, we had a good time, but it's like, she looks like someone who's just going to move on or I don't know, not call me in the next day or just, I don't know, use me or he, if you're a he watching, you're just going to like discard of me, you know, I'm not gonna see it coming, you know? That's why I think also, too, with the Seven of Swords, there's like a not trusting. And I do feel like, not for all of you, but there could be some of you that, you know, tend to kind of come across like just, you know, like you may be the most lovable person, but maybe this is coming across because maybe you're not the most, you know, friendly, not the most smiley. Maybe you're very distant. Maybe you're like fluttered. You're not, you're not really like present, you know. Um, people can equate those types of energies to that, you know. When you're not totally immersed on them, they start to imagine like, okay, well, you know, I'm not that great. She wasn't looking at me. Um, she probably has a ton of options. Um, you know, I don't know. I just feel like people's minds are going though. It's like, whoo, like there's a lot of thoughts about you, not just sexually. Okay. Not just about what you would be like in bed. Um, there's a lot of, in regards to the aftermath, like what would that be like after, you know, it's not even just about in the bedroom. And, um, I do feel like with people, uh, you know, they may have to really suss you out and that would be interesting if you resonate with that. You know, people have told you that they weren't really sure about you. I mean, I used to always get, I thought you were B I T C H. Those were from friends, friends that I had made back in the day, you know, like at first when they saw me just around, they didn't really, I don't know, no. But then they were like, you're the nicest person, you know? I don't know. I just, I just, I just think this is, this is, you're a challenge to kind of find out about. Like, it's just, you're really good at protecting information about yourself. You know, you don't give it even through body language. You're really like a, a maze, a maze, like a puzzle, Okay. We're going to have to definitely get into more cards with this group. I mean, I was going to draw them anyways, but wow, with these cards. I mean, they're very similar, all of them, you know? So let's get more. What do men or others assume 
group three would be like in bed. <laughs> wow. Okay, we've got deep-seated discrimination. So I do feel like, um, I feel like her being tied up like that makes me feel like actually how the people would feel. I don't know. They're a bit of, a bit, a bit scared to get wrapped up into this with you. I don't think they want to face rejection. I don't think they want to face you know, discrimination. This could obviously be coming from people who have a background of this because it's deep seated, right? So I think we're getting a bit of like who this is coming from. So definitely not, you know, the types that you need. You need somebody more of an alpha. But I feel like that you may also, um, they think you may actually be very mean, very mean in bed, okay? Maybe even um, selfish. Okay, if this is just what you're giving off. It doesn't mean that you're like this at all. Um, remember, preconceived notions, they're not always entirely true. But, you know, these rings are supposed to be fun. Just to get an idea of what others, you know, are, you know, getting from you. Um, it's very real, these things. These things are very real. Um, but yeah, I think there's a fear. There's a fear about getting involved with you. Okay. Um, rejection is coming to mind being rejected maybe you won't even like like them maybe also thinking that you know in bed you are wanting like the creme de la creme and there's high expectations so i think there's a lot of fear with rejection you know having to perform oh wow give me more Go easy on them. Yeah, they're terrified. I, I just, I, I, I don't know what's going on here. I, I don't know. Maybe you can provide some insight in, you know, the comment section. Um, you just are giving, I mean, honestly, to be very fair, I look like this. I've gotten this before. I mean, my own husband told me this, like he was terrified the first night because I just looked like somebody who, you know, fit this description, you know, <laughs> was kind of scared, um, you know, because I was so beautiful to them. You know, maybe you're coming across like so beautiful. It's like there's a lot of pressure. But I feel like there's fear. There's fear. And, you know, what you would be like in bed. Would you be? Would you go easy on me? Um, I actually want to draw a card on that. That's a very interesting card. Give me more. Oh, my God. Queen of Swords. Now, that's a mean chick. <laughs> That is hilarious. So again, um, uh, yeah, Queen of Swords, she's she's interesting, you know? She can be very cold She on the surface. She can be nice when you get to know her, but she can be very cold on the surface at first glance. Um, she doesn't do nonsense, you know? I think this is, again, pointing to, you know, just fear of rejection or how would you be like would you have patience with me in bed would you um would you like what i'm doing would you allow me the chance to maybe make up for it um i think with the easy street to this also can point to longevity like how long the person lasts would you be you know, like turned off by that, would you be willing to go again? Like, I don't know, there's a lot of like criticism. Queen of Swords, she is very critical. She's the type that will give criticism, okay? It will be constructive, but she is a, a, a critical, am I saying this right? She's a critique, okay? So I feel like there was, there's these thoughts of you wanting to judge every little move, you know, would you judge every little move? Would you, you know, um, and it's kind of interesting because with the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups, they're not the most, you know, friendly, you know, out of all of them, to be very honest. I mean, okay, let's get more. Skating on thin ice. Yeah, there's a lot of fear around, you know, um, your expectations in bed. 
or you would be critical or, you know, um, making the right move, you know, with the skein on thin, like saying the right thing. There's a lot of like pressure. These people who I'm picking up on feel like, you know, one little thing goes wrong and you're out with the skein on thin eyes. You're not, you don't have like, um, a big threshold for kind of error. You get where I'm going? One card from this deck. What do, what does group uh, three, what do men or others assume group three would be like in bed? Prying eyes. Someone has their eyes on you. Oh, I haven't gotten this card yet. Um, that's interesting. So let me just look at this card and try to see how this correlates to the topic. How would they assume that you would be in bed? I need help. I need help with that card. Give me more. Okay, so um, that looks like one message for one person, but I'm going to go with one more just so we can get another group. Okay, so we've got the Empress and the Page of Wands. Prying eyes. Someone has got their eyes on you. I don't know if this relates to people who resonate within this group of being a mom, okay? But kind of wondering how that would work out because there's you're kind of responsible for others. I mean, she could even be like someone's child, okay? Like the person, obviously you, your child. Uh, maybe it's like there's no uh, privacy, right? Um, so there could be a worry about that, but with the page of wands for another set of people, this could also be, um, maybe if you resonate with being taken, but also there's this thought about, you know, comparison to maybe other lovers. Okay. Uh, prying eyes, someone has their eyes on you. You kind of give off the impression that you have options. Um, and you may not have options at all. Again, this is just how other people are feeling that you know you could easily discard of them and go to someone else or that you would judge them may, maybe based upon other lovers you've had you just look like someone who like a lot of people would want and you know you just may also look not in a bad way like you may have had some great experiences because you're so attractive okay however these people are viewing you remember beauty is in the eye of the beholder okay so it's either two things with this, this card. It's either that you're a mom and or would we have privacy? Would we even be able to do that? This could even be coming from your husband, honestly. Yeah, or boyfriend, if you have children. But then the others of you, it's like, I don't know, worried about, you know, competition or being honestly even judged or criticized or compared to others that you've had. Now that's interesting. Give me one card from this group. This group, sorry, this deck of cards for this group. How do men assume, what do they assume this group would be like in bed? And so I listened as my soul told me to let the past go so that I may awaken to how much I have grown the past releasing rebirth and spring. So I do feel like here, this can also talk about, you know, maybe your past experiences. Again, I feel like there's a comparing to the past. Um, I think this also points to the people who are I'm picking up on because I just feel like here, um, you know, once they get to know you, they will be able to release um, a lot of what they, you know, assumed about you. But I just feel like, you know, they're going to have to listen to their soul when it comes to you. I think with this group, a lot of people 
tend to not want to rise to the challenge. And honestly, you could be very good looking, but it could also be your personality as to why many people fold. I used to have this as well too. Men used to give up really easily because I wasn't the most open book. I wasn't like giving them my feelings after three weeks. I don't know what it is with men. Um, they're like babies, you know, most of them. And the whole coddling thing, I just, I don't do it, okay? Um, you gotta be strong, an alpha, okay? Um, so I do feel like this has a lot to do with them as well. Um, and I think there needs to be a releasing of even, you know, the assumptions, the assumptions with this group. So maybe even how they're, you know, uh, judging you is a part of a lesson, you know? I really wouldn't be surprised if this group understands this, you know? This has been a problem in their life, you know? Uh, but when people have overcome, they gained a best friend. They gained a wonderful lover. They gained a wonderful wife, you know? So I do feel like, you know, you are serving as actually a purpose, you know, in a lot of lessons for others. I know you weren't expecting that. Now let's get to the real deal here. These are the cards that are going to really talk, you know, or, you know, provide imagery. So let's get three cards from this deck for you guys as to how others are, you know, uh, assuming or think what they think you'd be like in bed. Eight of Cups. Wow, we got that here. We got two now. So we got an Eight of Cups here. We've got an Eight of Cups. And look at this. He is trying or, you know, symbolically, this can even just speak about him attempting and she's like yeah no not today <laughs> not today nope not interested you know i just feel like with this group you know there could even be some people who think you may even be very very cold and bad you know someone who's just really not going to give that cozy feeling you know that embrace you know um not easily impressed even, you know, critical. I mean, honestly, look at her face. I don't know if you can see. Look at her face. She's like, ugh. ugh, 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 ugh. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And I mean, like, I, I mean, it's good that we got this card in a way because it's just reiterating more of the same message so that I can know as a reader I'm on the ball. But if you do resonate with having this personality, I'm not telling you to change. Maybe you're doing this for good reason. Maybe you're honestly not impressed by whoever's approaching you. I'm not saying to change, okay? <clears throat> Ace of Swords. <clears throat> so, yeah, she looks like she's dominating. Um, she's taking charge. You know, you could have this image where, you know, or this energy, like maybe you would take control or you could, you know, you know, beat up the guy in the bedroom. Didn't I say something like that at first? I don't know if I did, but I don't know. She also, you know, looks, you know, a bit not scary, but um, I don't know. He's happy, though. He's happy to uh, like proceed or participate. He's totally happy to participate, but I just feel like <sighs> there's a bit of worry about like, you know, allowing you to do this. So I feel like there could be, again, some fear around being with you because I, I think, I think these people who I'm picking up on, like they really fall for you, but it's like, I don't know. They don't want to get trapped, you know? They don't want to be rejected. They don't want to be used and abused. And I just feel like I'm not saying that you would do this to somebody in bed, but that can actually stand symbolically for that, you know, just being used and kind of, you know, discarded of, you know, or maybe you're kind of going to be more masculine. You would be more masculine in the bedroom. Six of cups. So here we have a beautiful card now, okay? Oh, that's kind of interesting if you look at the imagery. So in the mirror, we've got two lovers, okay? Very immersed in each other. And she's actually looking at that almost like she wants to be like that. But I think for her, there may be a past hurt. 
because with the six of cups that can talk about past lovers you know so I feel like maybe for some of you they may feel like who hurt you you know did someone hurt you maybe if they did you know it will take you time to open up but ultimately you could get to that point with somebody you know um but I do feel like there could be an assumption that they're piecing something together that maybe the way that you behave is because there's a blockage or maybe you've been hurt before because maybe at one point you were very much like this. Maybe you have to protect yourself. I have no idea what the situation is. Maybe you have to um, be careful, you know? But, you know, that can definitely represent like who you once were. Who you once were. You were totally, you know, open, you know? But, you know, she's... I don't know. She's just, she's, she's somber a bit about that. So that may not resonate at all with you. This can just be a preconceived notion, but they could feel like maybe you've been hurt before and maybe it's harder for you to open or, you know, you're a bit of an onion to peel. You know, maybe you have to be like that. You're protecting yourself, something along those lines. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to end it here. Um, let me know what you thought about this reading. I cannot know, you, you know what you feel about my readings unless you let me know down below in the comment section. I wish you all the best, guys. Take care.